Hey, it's, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Okay, I may be developing a cemetery series because I'm still in the Brompton Road Cemetery and I just recorded a video thought for the day that will come out, but I gotta do another one because I'm walking out and I see this kind of, kind of a cool little tombstone thing here. It's got like a little box with pillars on it and it's got a huge tombstone and there's writing on it it says, in loving memory of George Friend. Now that caught my eye, not just because of the unique shape and all, but what a name, George Friend. So what do we know about George Friend? Well, here it is. George Friend, a loving husband lies sleeping here. His wife and friends left to weep. Sincere in peace he lived, in peace he died, his life was craved, but was denied. Affliction sore, long time he bore, physicians were in vain, until God above, out of his love, has freed him from his pain. My dear husband now enjoys a heavenly birth. He is not lost, but gone before. Now that was 1886 and George Friend died at a relatively young age of 37. This got me thinking. If you were gonna write your own tombstone, if you were gonna write something that explained your life and put it into a nutshell, what would it be? You know, I've had this conversation with several people. Uh, my buddy, Jarrett, gave me what, what his would be, and I love his. In fact, kind of claiming it for my own. Uh, he would quote from Paul of what Paul told Timothy as Paul was nearing the end of his life. Paul says, I fought the good fight. I've kept the faith. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. And that's a, a that's powerful. Because think about it, I fought the good fight. Uh, that's getting engaged, that's being involved, that's recognizing that there uh, are issues and, and problems and evil and, and difficulties and pain that we want to engage with. You want to spend your energies, you want to spend your time being involved in the fight, if you will. But when you're involved in the fight, you want to be in the good fight. You don't wanna spend your time and energies fighting over things that are irrelevant or things that are destructive. So I fought the good fight. I finished the race. The idea that, that you do the course that's in front of you. you. A race is something that's set out. It's, it's not just random run till you drop, it's a course. And so to finish the race implies this, I've done the course, I've done what was there for me to do. And then that final thing, and I've kept the faith. That's the idea that, that you've not only engaged in the good fight, you've not only finished that course and run that race, but you've done it in a way that's faithful to God. Those are three powerful statements to go on anyone's tombstone. Uh, the, the challenge is of course to live it so that you earn it on your tombstone. But the testimony of a life well lived is one that, that not only can be etched into stone, but it can be etched onto the lives of all of the people you come into contact with because you will affect everyone. So as you think about how you affect everyone you come into contact with, let me urge you to think about it in light of what you'd want written on your tombstone. And that, with due respect to George Friend, is your video thought for the day.